My name is Damon Stenekun and I have been working on developing a thrust vector control system for rocket stabilization. A thrust vector control system is a two-axis gimbal which enables a rocket engine to control its pitch and roll angles. Now typically when you see a rocket launch, the rocket seems to be flying perfectly vertical without any issues, but there's more to it. When a rocket is launched, it will tend to tilt in different directions. To make sure the rocket stays vertical, a thrust vector control system is used. In a nutshell, the rocket engine is mounted to a gimbal, so when the rocket begins to tilt to one side, the gimbal moves in the opposite direction which redirects the thrust to correct the flight angle of the rocket. It is these continuous corrections made by the rocket nozzle which allows a rocket to fly in a stable vertical motion. One of the key aspects about this system is being able to continuously measure your position in space so that you know what angle the rocket is being pointed at. In this project, I use the MPU6050 module which is a sensor that provides spatial and acceleration data. This module has 6 degrees of freedom, namely the X, Y, Z gyroscopic data as well as the 3-axis accelerometer data. However, in my system, I only need 2 degrees of freedom, namely the pitch and the roll angle. So I started off by designing the rocket engine followed by the inner and outer gimbals. I designed the system using Fusion 360 which is a fantastic software for creating 3D models. It really gave me a good sense of what the final product would look like as well as how it would function. Then I went ahead and 3D printed the components and assembled them together. I used two SG90 servo motors and push rods to connect the inner and outer gimbals to the rocket mount. The servo motors are what enables the gimbals to move along each axis. All of this data collected from the gyroscope module is being fed into the Arduino microcontroller. I have written an algorithm which enables the data to be converted to servo commands which then moves the inner and outer gimbals. When I move the upper stage of the rocket, the change in angles are detected and the TVC system tries to oppose this motion. I also created a GUI using JavaFX which enables the user to calibrate the system. When the buttons are pressed, the system will perform an x-axis and a y-axis rotation test. Calibration test number 21. Please work. Yay. I created this TVC system because I would love to create a self-landing rocket one day and I thought this was the best way to get started in learning more about rocket engineering. Now this system is nowhere near complete so there's a lot more work that needs to be done. I'm going to continue to make design iterations to improve the system and hopefully soon I may be able to use this system to fly a rocket.